How many takes are we at now? Like 23? Oh. I read my lines. That cat wasn't part of the scene. What was a cat doing in my scene? Mr. Stein is right. There has never been a cat in any Terry the Terrible movie. That doesn't answer the question. Can someone tell me what that cat was doing in my scene? Whoa, Fang really did it this time. Fang thought that actress was in real danger. He acted like any good feline should. Cat-like. I don't know, Mona. Frank Stein is pretty upset. I'm going back to my trailer. Call me when you're ready. Ouch! Darn, cat spoiled my performance. We'd better say we're sorry, Fang. Of course Frank is dying to come to the house to see me, but I'm so busy. I came here to pencil him in. It's so cool that Frank Stein's here in our town, shooting a Terry the Terrible sequel. Terry the Terrible is like the best monster ever. <laughs> Ahem, barring of course Von Creepchula. Officer Halcroft, are you moonlighting? Yeah, I'm Mr. Stein's bodyguard. I'm his biggest fan. My favorite is Terry the Terrible Part uh, 5. Isn't that the one where Terry the Terrible conquers the walking torsos? That's right. What a classic. A simple apology should do it. No, no, no. This is not what I asked for. Ah, what a monster. Don't go in there. He's a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? What what do you want? Ah! Mona, you kids know this area is restricted. Why would Frank Stein be putting on makeup instead of taking it off? Mm. <laughs> He's even more handsome in real life. <laughs> it's him! It's him! Guess we weren't the only ones who found out Frank Stein was eating at the Tony's. Sorry, we are completely booked for the night. But please come back tomorrow. Hey, you're not butting in again. Leonardo! <laughs> you, least of all, can't possibly expect to... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to miss another chance to apologize to Frank Stein. But you heard what Leonardo said. He said us. But he never said anything about Zatman, Princess Giant, and Mona the Vampire. Today's Pescari special. What does Pescari mean? I think it means fish in Italian. Where's Fang? Who or what are you? Uh, and what are you doing in my kitchen? I didn't order fish. I ordered the Pescari special. Oh, oh, my Stein has upset Mr. Staff. Oh, what am I saying? My staff has upset Mr. Stein. Uh, here, 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 here you are, Mr. Staff. I mean, Mr. Stein. Pasta was too salty? Or maybe Frank Stein's monster act is more than just acting. <laughs> oh, our eyes met. Oh, he's so dreamy. I'm tired of Stein's tantrums. They're costing me a lot of money. I'm thinking we should pull the plug. 
I'm tired of his tantrums too, but we can't pull the plug on Terry the Terrible Part 9. I have a contract, you know. Pull the plug on Terry the Terrible Part 9? But we've been looking forward to the sequel for months. We'd better find out what's up with Frank before he winds up an unemployed monster. I can't believe I forgot to get into costume. It's him! Already? Quick, in here! I'm the most talented actor of my generation, and they keep handing me these B-movie parts. No one loves me for what I am. No wonder. I'm so hideous. <laughs> Well, the show must go on. Mr. Stein? Who is it? They're ready for you on set, sir. I'm the star. I'll be there when I'm ready. Yes, sir. Whoa. He really is a monster. That would explain why he's the best in all the history of horror movies. Listen. All people will remember is how mean he was and how he brought an end to Terry the Terrible. Yeah, looks like we'll have to retire Terry the Terrible altogether. We can't possibly let them retire Terry the Terrible. Everything is so quiet. Maybe they pulled the plug on the movie already. Yeah, you're probably right. Let's go home. Shh. I think Mona has a plan. You do have a plan, right? Ah! 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 <laughs> it's oh, bang. It's, <laughs> it's coming from over there. Wow, I've never heard anyone snore like that. If Officer Halcroft wakes up, he won't be able to resist this donut. That'll buy us some time alone with Frank Stein. It's him! Neat! This set is classic Terry the Terrible. Whoa, spooky. Fantastic! Uh-oh. Whoa, time for an anger management class, buddy. I'm Zatman, by the way, and I'm a big, big fan. You'll have to do better than that. I'm Frank Stein. <laughs> Stop it! No, no! Only room for two, but you'll be next. I'll make sure none of you nosy pokes ever reveal my true nature. This brain transplant will fix you, brats, for good! <laughs> You're no help to them. Uh-oh. <laughs> Which brain should I start with? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a hero by the toe! <laughs> A stage. My Mona, stage. you're so good. <laughs> Hang in there. <laughs> no, not the cat. <laughs> ah, get away from me. Ah, help. Don't come near me. Ah. Some tough guy you are, scared by a little kitty cat? Yeah. This has all been an act. I am so tough. You just act like a monster because deep down, you're just a big softie. No, stop. Please, stop. Only if you promise to show everyone how nice you really are. Just because you look like a monster doesn't mean you have to act like one. Okay, I promise I'll be nice. Just please stop. I'm just a softie. 
but I scare people because I'm afraid they won't like me if they find out. Everything all right, Mr. Stein? Yeah. Actually, I've never felt better. Frank Stein wanted to do the premiere of the movie at my place, but the pool was being cleaned. You know, you're pretty good. Ever thought of acting as a career? Nope. Vampires usually try to stay out of the limelight. That must be my Vampire Illustrated. Mona! Just the person I wanted to see. I've got some wonderful news. I'm getting hitched! That's wonderful news, That's Mrs. Fantastic. B. Congratulations! Thanks. And Mona, I want you and Lily to be the bridesmaids. Really? Yes. And Charlie will be the ring bearer, along with Blitzy, of course. But this is so sudden, Mrs. Bryerson. When did you meet the lucky groom? Last week at the Lawn Bowling League. He's a real charmer. The only problem is Gertrude, his bowling partner. She claims she saw him first. Oh, I hope she doesn't cause any trouble. She can be a real witch. I should be going. I've got a million things to do. Goodbye, Goodbye Mrs. Bryson. Hmm. I've never been a bridesmaid before. I hope I don't get stage fright. By the way, my mother's organizing Mrs. B's wedding, so don't be late for the rehearsal. <laughs> oh, great. That means Angela will be there to ruin everything. Look, there's Mrs. Bryerson now. And that must be Gertrude. Mrs. Bryerson said she's a real witch. <laughs> Gertrude? That was close. We're gonna have to keep an eye on that Gertrude. Mrs. Bryerson is choosing her wedding cake this afternoon. These Sorceress Ray relocators should help us protect her from any funny business. Better warn Mrs. B about that cake. Huh? Oh, hello, Mona. Um, I think this one is the nicest. Huh? Hmm. Uh, no, I, I really prefer that one. The little bride and groom are just so adorable. I'm still sleepy from that little catnap on the way over here. I need to wake up. Make room for the cake, children. It's delicious, my dear. Did you bake it yourself? Oh, Unger. <laughs> All right, people. Let's get this rehearsal going. Here are the rings, Charlie, old bean. Take good care of them. <gasps> Cake decorating duty, Mona. Mrs. B said something about you giving it a personal touch. Oh, yuck! I hate this outfit. Look, I've had enough of this whining. We have a wedding to ruin. My whining? Why, you. Shh. Just as I suspected, they're under Gertrude's spell. I didn't mean to scare you, dear. I know what you're up to, Gertrude. Up to? I just came to get the banquet room set up for tomorrow. We've got to nab that little bride and groom before Gertrude uses them to ruin the wedding. <gasps> They're gone! They must be here somewhere. We'd better get them back on the cake, or who knows what will happen! 
Gertrude? That sweet old lady? Don't be silly, Mona. She didn't mean to let Blitzy in. Gertrude and her little minions might have won this round, but the battle has just begun. <whistles> Places, everyone! Better call the organ tuner. Are you almost done, Mom? We have important wedding business to discuss. Well, I'm glad to see you're taking your job so seriously. There, have a look. You look like a big piece of cotton candy. We obviously can't do battle dress like this, so make sure to bring your alter ego accessories tomorrow. I'm worried about Unger. He should have been here an hour ago. I can't imagine what's holding him up. Well, I drew him a map myself. Uh-oh. I think I lost the rings. Do you see that? Those rings aren't lost, Zatman. They've been stolen! Without this ring, I do not be wed. <laughs> <laughs> They're heading for the sewer! You really should be more careful with these rings, you know. Eleven o'clock. We've got one hour to put the bride and groom in their place. <laughs> Laser coils should hold them. Ah! Nice work, Zatman. Ah, oh, here you are. Your parents are looking for you. We've got your little minions, Gertrude. They can't do your bidding anymore. Oh, you found them. Oh, they must have fallen off the cake. Hello, police. This is Princess Giant reporting a missing groom. This wedding is going to happen no matter what you do. Watch out, Mona! Jealousy jolts! <gasps> ah, you'll never find Unger! The wedding is... <gasps> Get out your relocators! The relocators aren't enough! We'll have to use a mega deflector! <laughs> it's true. I suppose the map I gave Unger was wrong. My jealousy gets the best of me sometimes. <laughs> but I really do want things to work out for Madge and Unger. I feel terrible that he hasn't shown up. Don't worry. I have a feeling he'll be here any minute now. <laughs> Don't worry. He'll turn up. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thanks for the tip, Lily. No problem, Officer Howcroft. Just doing a bridesmaid's duty. And if anyone has any reason to protest this marriage, speak now or forever hold your peace. Phew. Phew. <clears throat> well, actually, it would appear we both have a case of cold feet. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> You've all been so wonderful, but we've been single so long. I think at our age, we'd rather just keep dating. <clears throat> well, it seems we'll dispense with the preliminaries then and get right to the party. I'm sorry things didn't work out for you and Unger, Madge, but I'm certainly glad to have my lawn bowling partner back. No need to apologize, Gertrude. <gasps> <gasps>